Hello! My name is Dark Setup, and this is the Windows Are Gone. dreams I see this house I feel it calling for me Ever since the accident, whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Marie, Mariana. So I answered it. The windows are gone. Hi, honey. How are you holding up? Taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. Couldn't do it. I understand. She would have understood too. You knew that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home? Yeah, I'm on the way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. Alright, be careful on the road, love you. Okay, we're in and the mouse sensitivity is too high. Press tab to pick up your phone. A Nokia. From mom to you. Alright, be careful on the road, love you. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the boxes inside and we'll text you later. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. Okay. So, M for the map of the house Do we have stamina can we jump no this box upstairs master put on it Hello. Okay. We are in the hallway? No, front porch, living room. Okay, so this is the living room. There's a cassette here. A VHS tape playable tape one, my family. Probably take this to the VHS player. VHS player and play it. Is there a VHS player here? Yes, there is. Pick it up. Oh. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle aged man handling the camera. We realize that realize that the man in this is in the same house that I'm in. It's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family, as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of this house. His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. 
There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension. A sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness betrayed here is a deceptive lure, tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground. While the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness, as if he caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. It's a strange feeling, watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where are they now? Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine. A world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Okay. Still a little bit too fast, I feel. Mm. Everything good? Yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of the house. Okay. What? Did you watch it? What's in it? I was expecting you to lecture me not to do that, but yes, I did. So some weird stuff. Why say that to your mother? Now she's going to start asking more questions. Oh. Oh. Hang on. Down bathroom. Down bedroom. Wait, no. Huh? Is this the hall? And down office. Okay, so this is the hallway? And this is the office. Yes, I'm that person who keeps everything open. At least I know everything's been checked. So this is the down office. So we are here. Downstairs office over there. So bedroom was the other room, right? What is this? Is this the other... Downstairs bedroom? Basement? I wonder if the key is somewhere in the house. Yeah. Why is it stuck? There. So... Is this the... Okay, this is the bathroom. Nice. Simple. Kitchen looks nice. I like this. In the backyard. Okay. Can we open the fridge? Bits, though. Hmm, not bad. I don't like the way this angle is. Can I change the field of view or you know what? I'll leave it. Alright, so that's that's that. Can we go up there's no upstairs, is there? Oh there is. What am I saying? Of course there is. 
right, so what's upstairs? Oh, flip. Ah, uh, master bedroom, storage, main hallway. Okay. Guest, this is the guest one, I think. Let's see if we can find that key. Access is the drawers though. Not bad. I mean, it's a it's a very nice big house. But I'm getting eerie haunted house feels, which is probably what's happening in the way. Hello? I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but I'll have to. It'll have to do for now. Guys, hear that? All right, let's check the next room. Okay, so that's the master, which means there's a storage room somewhere. Main hallway and upstairs storage. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's check this first. Nothing. Upstairs storage. Nice. So this is the upstairs hall with. The guest room and the guest bathroom. Okay, so this is the guest room. And this is the guest bathroom. Ah! Green! the other room missing here? No, we got everything. Maybe downstairs outside. Did we miss our room? No. Probably outside then, right? The kitchen? Let's check if there's like a, a place somewhere or a What's it called? A garage? Or... Oh, uh, the house is quite noisy. Can I open this window? Okay, good. I would totally grow plants in this house. I like how this looks. I want a house like this. So... Did I check the... Wait, did I check the couch area here? Is there... Nothing. Anything on the couch? No. Anything on the porch? No. Let's check outside, maybe? Nothing. Okay, well... Let's start... Wait... What does it say? Upstairs master bedroom. Okay. Upstairs master bedroom. Can I just put everything inside first? Life would be a lot easier if I just did that. I 
have to? I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but... What was that? You know what? I'm just gonna... Oh, I can't put it down even. Can I just put it here? Yeah, I can. Because I really don't like the way this... This... Hello? This moves. Do I see him? Is it... Is it just me? Like, what the hell is that so that sound? I think it's just me. I think I'm... I think I'm getting paranoid. stack. Cannot stack. Ooh, I didn't check the mailbox, did I? Oh, I can't check the mailbox. Mm. That would be a nifty place to stuff things. Alright. Does this mean that this car can be put away now? Any close to the thing? No. Alright, fine. Let's start putting things away. This is upstairs master, master bathroom. This is the kitchen. So, kitchen. So this is over here. Can I just put it down? All right. What did I? Do I have an inventory? Tiny tab. No, nothing. What was that no- Did I write something in it? What, what is the noise then? Can I open it? Maybe I can put it here? Hmm. What is this one? Living room. Yeah, that's the right one. Master bedroom is upstairs. So go up here. And it's the one on the right. And this one. Mm -hmm. What is this? Upstairs guest bath. Okay. Upstairs guest bath. Which is the one on the left. Yeah, that one. This one. So what? We just moved in. Like, this is our family home. Is that what it is? Crab. I'm gonna put you in this corner here. So you're out of the way. What are you? Upstairs guest bedroom. Crab. It's just easier now. Do we get to unpack as well? Is that even a thing? I guess we'll find we'll find out. Downstairs office. All right, I know where that is. This way. Mm -hmm. Then you are upstairs guest bedroom. Upstairs, yes, bedroom is over here. Hello? Hi. Hello there. You must be our new neighbor. I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? 
I do, yes. A couple of kilometers that way, she points to her right hand side. My husband and I, she pauses for a few seconds, I live there. Okay, welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town, lovely people. Can you tell me about it? You look familiar, do I know you? Can I help you with anything, ma'am? Well, Mariana is a quite little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh yes. Make sure you visit the Aru Arucarias Park. Arucarias Park when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there. I see. Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, that be that 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 that, pfft, that being said, I understand. I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please don't embarrass us with your differences. She smiles. The fuck does that mean? You look familiar. Do I know you? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's what they say. Small world and all. In any case, we know each other now, don't we? Can I help you with anything, ma'am? Couldn't help but notice that the house has been purchased. That the new home, the new owner would be here today, so I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. That's very kind of you. You didn't have to. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. You got inside the house? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. You know this house? This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. You know this house? Okay, it just repeats itself. Alright then. Now do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, alright? She nods and smiles. Dude. The fuck? A plate of grostoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this. The smell is irresistible. Why did we do that? I ate some. Thank you. She's gone. Dude. Oh, that's creepy. This note just says, Welcome home. I assume it came from that lady, but where did she go? Well, he left. Okay. We should have closed the door. As I understand, the boxes into my new... Unload the boxes into my new house. I couldn't help but... Be reminded of the toll the trip of to Mariana had taken on me. That combined with this odd encounter with the neighbor made me realize I was exhausted. I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. It's not wise at all. I would lock the door. Bolt the windows. <sighs> Main hallway. Storage. Downstairs bathroom. Master bathroom. Hello? I can't pick anything up anymore. Okay, looks like we're going upstairs. It's the door. Why is this door closed? Did I close it? Hello? Anybody there? Jesus fucking Christ. No. Nothing. I am so paranoid. Let's close this. This time, I didn't dream about this house. Probably 
probably because I was finally here. No, this time I had a different dream. I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills. Whoa! Look at wife. I'm a guy? Look at my wife and I were in a hurry to hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. I found myself in a car quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Honey, are you gonna be okay? Just avoid any bump close please to give us all our set. Called your mother? Oh uh, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there? Yes, of course. Thank you. Please remember the highway is blocked now. Please hurry. I will hold tight. Oh my <gasps> Huh? Oh my god, what is going on? Jessica? What the frick is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god, I got chills. Hello? Can I do anything? Terrible. God, what a horrible nightmare. That tripping noise, I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? We know where it's coming from. It's coming from the bathroom here. Is it not coming from this bathroom? No, it's not. It's coming from here. It's not? How? Downstairs. In here? Is it this? No. Is it the kitchen? It's not that either. Where is it coming from? No way. <gasps> Hello? Who opened the fucking door? There's a water stain. Oh great, there's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. I get a weird feeling about this though. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise? Maybe it's the water itself? I don't know. I just can't shake this odd feeling I have when thinking about it. But I'll see it to I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed. Dude. Who fucking opened this door? Label taped to the accident. Okay. Looks like we're not doing that. Okay, we're closing this door. Another door? And this? No. No. What are we doing? Are we seriously just going back to bed? What time is it even? Said small nap. This isn't a small nap anymore.
What now? Good morning, son. Your mom told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Hey, Dad. Well, you know. God damn it. I know, I'm sorry. House to new house. Is it all you were hoping for? It's okay. I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that na right now. Good morning, house! Wake up, everybody! We're gonna turn everything on! Let's just make sure nothing's here. No. Let's go downstairs. Because the game wants us. Who opened this fucking door? Jesus. Seems to have gotten a bit worse overnight. I'll definitely have to call someone to see this later. Man, this cosmic noise will make me go insane. Yeah. Can we call someone? E. Alright, I think we can bring this up now. The accident. Okay, here we go. The tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement, with a camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house. Although I can just about hear his children playing in the background. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of, it, of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously researching, rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. Man also seems uneasy and disturbed, his words measured and hesitant, giving off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he can't fully comprehend, but that was that but that has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until He's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event would be his fault. Watching him, I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened. But then, why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? Upstairs, main hallway. Okay. We are going upstairs. To the main hallway. This one is storage. Hello? Did not make a noise. Oh. This actually goes over here. Yeah. Hello? Wait, I didn't even expect where this bathroom. It's 
Downstairs bathroom. That is over here? Yeah. There. Now what? As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night. But here I was, in this unfamiliar place, with no one but myself. For a moment, I questioned my sanity so I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs. And with a sense of determination, I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home. So I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. Okay. We can now open boxes. Ooh. All right, let's put you here. And you are going to go, hang on. In here. What else is in here? A trash bin? You will go in, uh, in here. I hope that's the correct way forward. Yep. Okay. Toothbrush holder. You go in here. What else? Towel rack. Towel rack will go in here. A bath mat will go like so. Yeah, there we go. What else? Lotion flask, okay. Uh -huh. Grab. This is now empty, I believe. Can I? It's empty. Empty boxes where I put... I'm gonna stack them here. Yeah. Let's do this room. A radio. A Ming vase. Hey man, how are you doing? Brother-in-law. Hey, a bit overwhelmed, honestly. A wall clock. I'm gonna put that right above here. Oops. Just put you here. What else is in here? DVD player, look at that. What else is in here? Nothing. All right. You are now empty. Next room. Yeah, same here. She was an incredible person, my sister. My sister loved you, ma'am. 
I know, she hated your gut. Haha. -ha. There's another fucking tape! VHS tape labeled Rumble. Pretty sure this wasn't here yesterday. Yeah, 100%. Let's finish. I am not. Oh my god. Haha, <laughs> oh yeah, I know. But seriously, it wasn't your fault, man. Remember that. Right. Toaster. A kettle. Put it on the stove. Take care. Thank you. Clay filter. Nice. Can I put this here? No, it'll have to go on the edge. Over there. Mm -hmm. Pineapple plastic jar. Wall calendar. Bowl. Glass bowls. I cannot. There. Okay, what else? Mug set. Hello? Oh, come on! What? Hello? What the fuck is happening? What is going on? TV turned itself on. Can you spend mix on over the static? Is that someone crying? Dude. Do we not have a bolt for this door? I'm not gonna watch. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm gonna finish my job. Where's the door? Where's the fucking door? Oh my god. Okay. We are slowly losing doors now. I'm gonna put this outside maybe. That would be better. These are done, so we'll put them outside. We don't need to store them upstairs, right? We can recycle the boxes. Yeah. Totally trampling on this, uh... Okay, so that room's done. This room is done. Oh yeah. This room is also done. Let's take a look at this uh, cassette tape that wasn't there earlier. Let's sit down and watch. As the tape starts playing, the scene before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see. 
like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and just as inexplicably disappear beneath him. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating beyond the TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feelings the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret. Yet I can't bring myself to stop the tape and I keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches and at times seems to be part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in, this, in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen echoing within my own being as if we somehow shared consciousness. In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed and almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, yet I still feel like this was needed somehow. DUDE! What was that noise? No! Okay, first let's check. Insurance prick. This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. <gasps> okay. So our wife was in an accident. Let's go to the basement. Hello? Who's in my house? Ah! Dude, what is this? Oh god, what is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but... I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Mold! It's mold! Dude, call somebody, please. Eh, I don't like the noise. All right, let's go back to unpacking, please. Why noise? Why? Open. Fold the clothes. Yeah, fold the clothes. Why? 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 Why so many folded clothes? Why? What's going on? Are we supposed to look to see if something else disappeared? More folded clothes. Come on. I don't like that noise! Bed sheet setting. Can I? No. What is this noise? I can't work like this. Pillow here, fresh pillow. Another fresh pillow. Stop! Radio clock. Okay, we'll put that here. Painting. Okay, we'll put this painting. Wait, didn't had it? Didn't we have windows in this room? Wait. I'm pretty sure we had windows. Yeah, that there was a door in that. Where's 
Where are the fucking windows? The windows are missing. Hear them? Hello? Hello? Where's the door? Hello? Stop it! There wasn't a window here before. <gasps> oh god, what's happening here? This is terrible. The leak is quickly... We've already, like, read this. We've already read it. 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 Let's go. Let's, let's look around. Escape. No. Continue. Yeah, yeah, let's look around. Dude. <gasps> what the fuck is that? What is going on? What is happening? No! What is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What is happening? Ah! Oh my god! Sir? Sir, is this your fault? Sir? Oh my god! You are so loud! Sir! Wait, that's my wife, Jessica! Jessica! Oh my god, I can't even... Jessica. I can't move. <gasps> oh my god. Wait. It was your fault? What? Such a disappointment. Fuck you. What the hell? Where's my li- It's upside down. I'm in a dream. There's no exit. Everything is upside down. Is the kitchen? Yep. Uh-huh. There it is. The fuck? Hey, I can't get... This is definitely still locked, but I could get in there. And the only way to get in there is through here. Okay, let's... Let's... Let's go. <gasps> oh my god! Hello? Oh my god, I'm getting chills. This is so disorienting. Hello? Hello? We're back here. <gasps> ah! Is 
starting up yet? Dude, she's sitting right there. Oh, that's fucked up. Can I go up? No. That noise! The door is missing. Okay, the only way to go through is here. Wifey! Talk! She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Honey? Did you see the latest paintings I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did. I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful. Jessica? Do you remember that question I used to ask you? What does God look like? Yes, what does God look like? It's funny that you were never religious, but I've always tried to help. You've always tried to help me understand why I could never truly see him. I really appreciate that, you know? Uh, um... I really miss you. But I see him now. She smiles. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Sorry, but I don't. Ah, pity. Wish you could see him too. So powerful and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. I've been trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now. Silly? We have our baby to care for now, Silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Okay. Crying. Upstairs. Look at you, honey. See, I told your father you're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. I've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently. Come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here. And Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Honey, it's, I think it's time I let you go. No, no, you you know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much, and she's so hungry all the time. We want to satiate her hunger. Can't see her. You, I can't see her suffering like this. I'm sorry, I can't join you. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her that now. Then pity you can't join us. She only needs her daddy. Oh my god! Uh huh? Let family go! Let, let family go! Everything back to normal. The door is back. This is locked now. Leave the house. Ever since the accident. K. 
guilt has haunted me. So I built a labyrinth. And found my way out. The windows are gone. The good ending, secrets found, three out of five. Thank you for playing. If you enjoyed this game, please consider following me on Twitter, ScaryCube. Also consider supporting me on Coffee and Patreon at ScaryCube. More games coming soon. Three of five. I really would like to get back to it. Really, 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 really. Oh yeah, it's gone. That's fine. I still want to get back to. What the fuck? Baby clothes. The Trinity photo album. The painting. Painting. Baby clothes. The Trinity photo album. More paintings. More paintings. And more paintings. That's it. Grab. What the F? I need to see what else is here. What about the office room? Open. Computer. A phone. A phone book. CD case. Jesus. That's it. Is there a cassette here, though? and parties involved. What? By the way, sorry for your loss. Thank you. No, nothing else in here, right? Yeah. Grab. I want to use the phone. Hang on. Inspect. 
Jessica's friends a few months ago. The box is moldy. There's terrible scent coming from it. We thought Robin Barton was going to give Jessica peace and sister into rot, but in gotten rid of this. Painted this traveling with her parents. Teenager. First painting is an art student. I'm not sure I painted this. I'm not sure I've seen it before. Perhaps one of the many paintings ended up because she was ashamed of how it turned out. With Jessica's last painting, she had been feeling uninspired for a while before making this, and she was determined to never paint again. Who's 90346? Uh, 90346. What the hell? Can we... I'm glad we did. I have to look for a plumber later, but a leak in the basement. Cannot go online. 903460. 903460. Oh my gosh. Hello? What is that noise? Is that a baby? I'm not going to the basement yet. The door's gone. Can I please? Can I please unpack you? Okay, good. I just need to unlock all the story items, please. Painting. Another painting. Is there this many paintings? Bath mat. Hear that? Fuck. It's gonna make us go down now. <sighs> but lore! Come on. Lore. For fuck's sake. Can't even touch that anymore. Mm. Yes, what? the door. <gasps> okay, let's go. Okay, let's see if we can be eaten now. Maybe that's the, s that's the other ending? Talk. Continue. Continue. Mm 
join us. I will join you. Oh, I'm so glad, my darling. She's so hungry. I'll go ahead and feed her now, and I'll be waiting for you to join us. She will finally meet her daddy. All right, go ahead. Dive in. I'm right behind you. I hope this is the secret I'm meant to be finding, though. Because we only saw three. All right, I'm coming. ending. Secrets found one out of five. Okay guys, that was the windows are gone. This is such a visually captivating game and you do feel a sense of uneasiness while playing this game. What do you guys think is the fifth and last secret? So we watched three videos. Is there more videos? And we saw the bad ending, we saw the good ending. I tried to unpack as much as I could before the game forced me to stop. So what do you think is the fifth secret? Let me know in the comment section. Wonderful job, Dev. This was fantastic. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And if you like this video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!